Welcome to another Linden Elevator YouTube help video for elevator mechanics. Today we're going to be discussing the Dover I2 and I3 valves leak down problems. This is probably the number one problem that occurs in Dover valves. They're an extremely good valve, but they're machined to a very high tolerance and they do not work well in a dirty environment. If you keep them clean, they seem to run almost forever. But when you do face the uh, leak down problems, the easiest test to do first, might not be the most likely scenario, but the easiest test to do first is to turn in on the down start adjuster. That's this one right here closest to the center bolt. We've removed everything uh, from the valve that we just needed for this video rather than bring the entire valve into the studio today. What we want to do is get a leak down test before we turn the down start adjuster in. And let's say we're leaking down every five seconds, or re-leveling every five seconds. When we turn the down start adjuster clockwise in all the way to stop, we want to count our turns so we can put it back when the test has been completed. We'll turn the adjuster in and then compare our uh, re-level problem. If the re-leveling issue goes out to 5, 10, or 15 minutes without a re-level, where previously it was 5 seconds, the problem will be in one of these two solenoid tubes. The test is not specific to which tube it is, but it will be in one of these two tubes. For ease of working in this video today, we have previously loosened the solenoid tubes, one of these, <laughs> and we're going to expose the internal working components of the uh, solenoid. When you remove it, this shuttle should move quite smoothly here. It's got a spring that will keep pushing it back out. If it's stuck in the up position, obviously this is a problem and it needs just to be cleaned most likely or it's possible you could have a dent or a bend inside the solenoid tube here. This shuttle is a reasonably uh, tight fit so any little bit of debris will cause an issue. Then we also have this white seat right here and it matches up with a metal seat inside the control block. If there's any debris in here that's a problem or inside here. We want you to clean this pocket as best you can with a lint-free cloth and wipe this surface down. A small round wear ring in the center of the seat is not a problem and is not the cause of the issue. We would be worried about any extra divots or dings in this white surface. If you have damage to this surface, you'll either need to get new shuttles or you'll have to replace the valve. The most likely place that you're going to have a leak down issue is in the down main and in the down um, the down main piston. This is the down main piston. You get this by removing the right hand end of the valve. There will be six bolts and two springs with two O-rings. We commonly refer to this end as the V-guide. People in the field oftentimes call it a king's crown. It kind of resembles that. The only surface that we're concerned about would be this surface right here. And I don't know if you can see the difference, but this is a lapped surface. It's, there's a shiny ring and then there's a dull ring. We are only interested in the dull ring. If there's any debris uh, stuck to the seat, any dent, divot, or material that's embedded into the seat, you have a problem. If it didn't damage the seat, it can be removed and we can go back and continue to use the valve. If there's any permanent damage to the seat, the valve is then um, not able to continue in the field and it has to be sent in for resurfacing at Linden Elevator. You also have a similar surface on the check piston which is mounted directly below or directly beside depending on the orientation of the valve and it's also this surface right here that we're concerned with. The, not this vertical surface but this chamfered 45 degree angle surface. Any problems on that surface just like on the down piston creates a leak down scenario. There is also the manual lowering, that's this adjustment right here, um, but in order for this to be a problem, someone would have had to have opened manual lowering and trapped a piece of debris inside. There are some other more very obscure places that this valve can leak from. They are very, very uncommon, and chances are pursuing them in the field would turn, uh, turn out to be fruitless. If you have any questions about Dover I2 or I3 products, or if you have an issue that you cannot resolve on the leak down of your valve, please call Linden Elevator. The number will be at the conclusion of this video. Thank you again for watching.